Hey dudes, what's good? WMG here again with another video. This is video number three for how to start a Pico Reef tank, whatever. And I wanted to talk to you guys about what you should be thinking about while you know you're putting uh, another tank up for cycling. Um, if you watched the last video, I was just talking about how to cycle a tank, and that I th threw up a, a a 10 gallon tank with uh, with rock that I selected for the Pico and I started cycling that about four months ago so this time I want to talk to you about a little bit about placement where I decided to put the tank um, in my room and just uh, a why I decided to put it there so we have it here next to the bed and in between these drawers that I have uh, no windows here well there is one window in the room but I always keep it closed because I like sleep and uh, there's no vents near it. Um, I'm going to just show you what I did with this tank, uh, with the stand. Basically, it's solid wood stand. Uh, I just found the wood at my parents' house. I'm going to open it here so I can show you what I did. I made a, a right angle door because I wanted to maximize accessibility to the sump. You know, I'm going to have a little sump in there, right? And I was thinking. Uh, well, when I had the when I had the shelf up, that was using the shelf for the stand. Uh, that was great because I had a lot of room. The problem is, is that there was a lot of light spill and it just looked, uh, it just looked not too good and not sharp. And like I mentioned before, I really like the clean look. So I decided to put up this stand. And I'm gonna open this door up for you so I can show you that I have maximized my accessibility to the tank. I liked the shelf because it was I had, I had a lot of space to work and I wanted to duplicate that work space but at the same time make it look nice. So that's what I've done here. I made it out of these beams that I cut out of from solid wood that I just found lying around. I uh, refinished the wood. I didn't even sand it, just refinished it and I did a nice little technique that I like to use where I where I, uh, I clean the wood down with paint thinner then I apply um, a stain to it and then I spray the wood down just a little bit with black paint and then I, uh, I rub the black paint into the grains of the wood using a, a towel with, uh, with paint thinner on it I'm going to show you a couple of pictures now with, uh, with what I was doing during the build unfortunately my other uh, video camera stopped working so let me I could only recover the picture so let me put that up so here um, what I basically did is made a square out of 13 inch uh, one and a half inch 13 inch by one and a half inch pieces of wood um, and here's another picture of it here and I screwed uh, put two screws on each side one and one fourth inch uh, wood screws and I also put some wood glue in it to hold it really tight and then I basically built a box I built two of the squares and then attached them with uh, with the poles that I made by cutting uh, cutting the solid wood down so it's very strong because uh, I took I, I used it I made it from the solid wood and it doesn't look too bad because of you know what I did just to try to make the wood look more kind of like uh, almost like reclaimed wood here you can see that I, I made the panels um, and I was starting to put it together so basically I just want to show you guys um, what I wanted to do for the for the stand uh, like I've mentioned before I really liked the clean look and I really liked how this turned out because it looks it looks super clean um, and I really don't like it when I see tanks that are kinda like just two by four stands that are stuck up together I mean we are working really hard on our tanks to make them look really really nice and presentable and, and, and beautiful and I just don't like seeing just raw wood you know these raw two by fours uh, standing out I think if we're putting the time and money into it we should kinda do it right and like I've mentioned before um, I like to do everything you know as minimized money spending as possible and this project only took me thirty two dollars to make the stand and this stand is definitely worth much more than thirty two dollars I mean it's solid wood uh, going to Petco for example 
uh, and getting a, 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 a what do they call it? Uh, particle board, I think what it is. Yeah, particle board uh, stand. That's like seventy dollars for a ten gallon stand, and it doesn't even have doors on it. And I mean, solid wood. A solid wood stand like this is probably gonna go for like two fifty, two hundred fifty dollars. And I only spent thirty two dollars on it. So yeah, all I needed was some screws, um, my screw gun, a uh, few drill bits, uh, wood glue, and a saw. And I think I think that's about it. Yeah, I use a table saw to make the cuts really really nice. But uh, you can use a circular saw, and that's just fine. But, yeah, I mean, 32 bucks, and I'm super happy with it, and it looks, looks fantastic. All right, so this was video number three of how to do, how to set up a Pico tank. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe uh, if you want to be notified for the next video in the series. And um, please leave, uh, leave some comments to tell me what you guys think uh, I should do next. Or what kind of tank this should be, whether SPS dominated, LPS dominated, uh, fish dominated, or whatever. Um, so thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.